Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Rob. I am really, really happy to be here tonight with you all sharing valuable information. And it's, I promise you, it's going to be practical and fun and actionable as well. So without further ado, let's um, jump on the presentation. Um, let me share my screen. So um, today is the first webinar that we're having together in um, in a series of, of webinars that we have designed for all of you. Um, so today, today we're going to be talking about what makes Zenzino's All Natural Balance Oil Plus different. Um, here's a rundown of what we're going to be covering today. Um, first of all, there will be a brief introduction and then we'll talk about why we can't trust the most popular brands on the market and then I'll give you some insights into the current market situation and then we'll talk about how to select a good quality fish oil supplement and finally we'll talk about why um, balance oil is so different and what makes it stand out in the market. So um, the objective of this webinar is to make you a more informed, conscious and discerning consumer. It will give you the knowledge to tell if a product is good or not and it will teach you what to look for in a product description to know exactly whether it's worth your money or not. So before I talk about um, all this information, I'll give you a little bit about myself, a little bit of information about myself and why you should care about what I say. So I have a Master of Science in Nutrition from the Chinese University of Hong Kong and my thesis was actually on the dietary management of Alzheimer's disease with fish oil. And um, for the past um, 12 years or so, I've been working in the wellness industry and in the past five, six years, I've been working as an interpreter and I hold a certificate in medical interpreting from the Guangdong University of Foreign Studies. And um, my belief and my approach to health is not just, um, I, I don't think um, good health is simply an absence of um, diseases. Um, I take a holistic approach. So I tackle health from the perspective of nutrition and movement. So you see, I'm a qualified yoga and meditation teacher from mental health, which is why I trained with the Heart Math Institute from California and brain health. Um, and I'm also doing a brain health coaching. And um, I take care of people's spiritual health as well. So I teach meditation um, classes. So this is a little background of what I do and where I come from. Okay, so why should you care about choosing a fish oil supplement? Can't you just trust the, the big brands? Well, I'm sure you've been hearing more and more often that fish oil is being recommended by doctors and dietitians everywhere because there is so much evidence supporting its various health benefits. Um, we know that it supports normal brain, heart, immune, bones functions and it improves your metabolic, vascular and muscular health. Right now, the global market of fish oil um, is estimated to be 1,900 million US dollars and it's forecast to grow at a rate of almost 6% per year to be 2,840 million in 2027. You might be thinking, why should I care about this figure? Okay, if you see this number, you would probably conclude that this is a very lucrative market. And if it's a lucrative market, then business people will want to get in. They will want to take a piece of this pie, which also means there will be a lot, a lot of fish oil products on the market. Then it makes it even more relevant that you know how to select a good premium fish oil supplement so you are safeguarding your own health and the health of your loved ones, your family and your friends. Okay, so the problem with the uh, uh, products on the markets now, right now, is they are of mixed quality. Many popular products that you're paying for might actually be selling you garbage. You're not, you're not 
you know, the bottom line is you might not be getting the health benefits claimed on the product description, but what could be worse is you might even be paying for some health hazards, as we will see later. It sounds shocking, doesn't it? Well, we'll dive deeper and then learn the, the truth behind all these things. Okay, first of all, there are these false claims. According to this study, over 70% of the supplements tested did not contain the stated label amount of EPA or DHA, which means, you know, at least, um, you know, a large part of the money that you're paying for is actually paying for air. You, you're paying for things that you, you didn't want. You're paying for air. And, um, and sometimes they they put really vague um, claim on the on the packaging um, or vague fish oil amount. But if you probe a little deeper and you actually look at the nutrition label, you will find that the DHA or EPA levels are actually very low. They are meager. Sometimes you. Um, well, actually, most of the brands on the market don't tell you what fish they use. They don't tell you where the fish actually come from, and some even use predator fish. What does that mean? Predator fish are bigger fish that prey on the smaller fish. And why is it important? Why is it relevant? Because these predator fish, they have high heavy metals because they keep preying on the smaller fish. So they will have accumulated a high level of pollutants, contaminants in their body. If you take fish oil supplement from, you know, um, from oil that is actually made from these predator fish, then you are very likely getting a lot of high levels of heavy metals in your body. And some brands only use one type of fish. What's the problem with that? That means certain contaminants will be more concentrated in the oil or in the crude oil, and it's simply not a sustainable practice of fishing. Okay, then there's the quality issue. A lot of the products um, actually, more than 70% of the fish oil products you see on the market use cheaper but less bioavailable forms. Bioavailability means how well your body actually uses or absorbs the nutrients, which means that you are paying a premium price, but then what you're putting into your body might not be able to be used by your body in the end. Um, so there is this form called ethyl ester, which is an inferior form because it's missing one important step in the processing procedure, which uh, so it doesn't get converted into the more but more bioavailable form triglyceride, which is actually the natural form in fish oil. So you should be looking out for that. Some brands tell you that they are giving you ethyl ester, but some don't. So. Um, Along those lines, you can look for the word marine oil concentrate. If you see that, you really need to look really closely at the label to, to find out what form you're actually getting. And what's even more shocking is some brands actually give you GMO products, GMO ingredients. Why would you want GMO products if, you are get, if you're buying a health supplement? because you want to be healthier, you don't want to be sick. So why would you want GMO products, right? So if you see GMO in the um, food label, avoid it completely. Okay, then there's the issue of instability. There are actually many studies uh, that have been done on the products on the market. One study found that one a quarter of the samples tested had high levels of oxidized lipids. And then there are some other studies that, um, that have been done on um, fish oil supplements from New Zealand or from Canada, and they are equally bad. Um, you know, 80% of them had really high oxidized lipids. What does that mean? Um, a lot of people are taking fish oil because it has a strong antioxidizing property because you want to to look younger you want to feel younger you want more vitality but if the the oil supplement that you're taking is already oxidized then it's not going to protect you from oxidation it might even give you you know hazardous effects and what's most shocking is children's formulas were found to contain the highest amount of oxidized lipids. Look at this um, study. 
Um, the researchers took 170 U.S. brands, and they found that 50% of them actually exceeded the recommend, recommended levels for oxidation marker. And it was written there, children's products had significantly higher um, oxidation levels than all other products. Normally, you would expect a children's product to be of more stringent quality control because you're normally paying more for that and you want better health for your children. But it turns out, you know, in this case, you're actually paying more but getting worse products. So you really, really need to look at um, what you're getting to read the label. And then later I'll teach you how to um, find out whether um, the products you're getting are having, you know, have all these um, oxidized products or not. Okay, then there's a the problem of fillers. Earlier on, we, we, I told you that um, you might be paying for air, but then there's something worse. In this study, three best-selling fish oil brands in the U.S. actually contain up to 36% saturated fats. What does that mean? You might be taking fish oil because you want to lower your cholesterol levels, but if you're actually taking saturated fats, more than one-third of it is saturated fats. Well, you might be doing the exact opposite. And then another filler is... Um, if the product tells you that they are giving you omega-3, 6, and 9, then you should be extra alert because why would you want to get omega-6? Because we're already getting a lot, a lot, too much of it from our food, you know, from vegetable oils, from plant oils. So you really don't need to take extra omega-6. You just want omega-6 and maybe, uh, and, and perhaps some omega-9 as well, but definitely not omega-6 because what we're doing here is trying to lower the ratio of omega-6 to omega-3. Then if you're taking omega-6, then you're not really helping it. So this could be another filler. It could be you know, an excuse that the, the company is using to give you less of the more valuable um, ingredients. So look out for that. If you see it gives you omega-6, avoid it completely. Then there is the issue of lack of transparency. Some brands don't give you a batch-specific certificate of analysis. It tells you the exact amounts of EPA and DP DHA, so you wouldn't be getting... Um, the, the problem like we mentioned earlier and it tells you the levels of oxidation in terms of the peroxide value to see so you so it tells you how fresh um, the fish oil you're getting is and then it tells you the amount of heavy metals and and any potential pathogens like salmonella or mold okay so enough about um, the market situation let Let's talk about how to select a good fish oil supplement. Here you need to remember these five P's. What are they? First of all, place, it tells you the origin of the fish oil or the fish, and then the processing, the purity of the product, the potency of it, and finally the packaging. Okay, first of all, let's talk about the place. You want to know whether the fish or the fish oil comes from a polluted ocean, whether it's, you know, adjacent to an industrial area where all the, you know, sewage um, from these plants are actually discharged into the ocean or whether it's close to a nuclear plant or whether there is overfishing in the area. Okay, so why should we care about sustainability? Because if it's sustainably caught, that means the fish will be healthier. Here we can apply the risotto rule. Okay, what is the risotto rule? Um, any good chefs would tell you that when you make risotto, you have to use white wine, right? And you must use a wine that you would drink yourself. If you're using a wine that you wouldn't drink, well, then you will be ending up with a risotto that it's probably unpalatable. You won't want to eat it. The same rule applies here. If you want a good fish oil product, you need to start with a good ingredient, which means you want your oil to come from healthy fish, which is why sustainability matters here. And you want it to have reliable long-term supply because you don't just want it for yourself. What about your children? What about your grandchildren and their grandchildren? right and um, if it's sustainably caught that means there will be less impact on the environment 
there will be less pollution and it's ultimately better for you. And if it's more diverse, then that means diversity in terms of you know the type of fish used or the type of fish caught. That means the concentration of each contaminant can be minimized. Okay, so these are the labels that you should be looking out for because they are good ones. Um, um, we'll talk about each of them. So you see um, Friend of the Sea, uh, MSC, which is Marine Steward Stewardship Council, and then GOED, um, which is the Global Organization for EPA and DHA. Okay, so let's talk about, um, we'll continue to, to talk about place. Um, there are many professional membership. Let's read this statement from this scientist from the German Fontunen Institute of Agricultural Trade Policy and World Nutrition and former secretary, secretary of the International Council for the Exploration of the Sea. He says that stocks targeted by MSC, which is Marine Stewardship Council, Certified fisher fisheries were in general more abundant, which means there's more of variety, there's um, and there's more of them simply, and and harvest harvested less intensively than those targeted by non-certified fisheries. So it's a trustworthy um, label certification, the MSC, and then there's the friend of the sea certification. Um, which is part of, um, which is a World Sustainability Organization. We'll talk um, about the GOED later on. Okay, so here we have a picture of the Southeast Pacific Ocean. Why should we care? Okay, let's have a look. The fish here looks really healthy, and um, I was trying to scan through the picture, and I don't see... Um, rubbish, you know, in the seabed. So it looks like a pretty healthy area. So why is this important? Because according to the website of Lysi, which is the production plant for um, Zinzina's Balance Plus Oil, the fish is actually sourced from this area. I did a, a lot of digging and then I found out about this area. Let's see um, what's so special about this area. Okay, so it's actually designated as um, um, FAO, which is um, Fishing and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations. It's designated as Fishing Area 87, and in this area, it's actually just outside of Chile, and it has the largest marine park in the Americas called Nazca Desventuradas. And then bordering this area is the Marine National Monument of the United States. Um, and together they make up the largest marine protected area in the world. Why is that relevant? Okay, think about it this way. If it's a large area, that means um, you know, at least the center, the center part of this protected area is far away from other areas which might be polluted, which means, you know, the possibility of it coming in contact with pollutants from other area will be lower. And if it's a marine protected area, the, well, then you can count on it. You can count on the fish or other seafood being healthier or cleaner than other areas. And if the fish oil that you're getting um, comes from fish that was caught in this area, then, well, you can be rest assured that it will probably have a lower content of contaminants. So which, which is why it matters here, which is why I'm showing you this picture. Okay, and um, the fish that you're getting in Zinzino's Balance Plus Oil are uh, from wild, small pelagic fish. Pelagic simply means far away from land. Okay, if you look at human history, where are the most human activities centered? Around cities or coastal cities where they actually discharge a lot of pollutants into the sea. So if this, the fish is caught in an area far away from, this, from the land, then, well, they will be less polluted and we are targeting small fish because like we said earlier big predator fish have very high content of pollutants so we uh, we have mackerels anchovies and sardines and we'll talk about wild why is wild fish better than farmed fish because if they're wild 
they're free to roam the sea and they can eat you know all the good algae in this in the seabed you know versus the farm fish which eats whatever the fishermen you know feed them so of course you want to have you know fish oil that comes from wild fish okay then some people might be asking what about krill oil i've heard a lot of good things about that yeah um i me too but then right now we simply don't have enough studies to support you know the claims made by some um, krill oil you know manufacturers and in some cases i did a little bit of research in some cases you might if you want 1.3 gram of um, epa plus dha you might need to take 18 capsules that's simply not economical or convenient so for the time being i would say stick with um fish oil and until more studies can be done on this then we can you know um make a renewed um decision okay and other source of dha is actually yuck it's made from plant um like canola oil or camelina oil and it's actually gmo you really don't want any of these so um i actually see on the market and in the supermarket actually there are canola oils that have the claims to have um, DHA, so you have to read the labels to make sure that it is GMO free. So it's better to buy a product that is certified GMO free. Okay, so you have to avoid these completely. Now let's talk about the processing. Okay, here on the right, is, I, I took this chart from Lysi's website, but um, we're not going to talk about all the processes. There are two that are particularly important. First of all, let's talk about why we need to process the crude oil, because they simply contain, uh, it simply contains too many impurities and contaminants, and it's inedible for human and it has a lot of oxidation products as well so we process it to preserve the quality and improve the flavor through a process called deodorization so it doesn't taste fishy anymore and one process that um, should be of interest to all of us here is winterization so what it, what it does is it eliminates the saturated fatty acids if you remember from a from an earlier slide a lot of um, brands actually contain saturated fatty acids which well it might be that they didn't go through this process we don't know but then um, what this process does winterization is to eliminate saturated fatty acids and to concentrate EPA and DHA if you look at the picture um, on the bottom you see winterized fish oil actually looks much brighter lighter and um, it looks more appealing to the eyes as well. So, so that's the reason why we need to go through that process. Okay, then let's look at purity. Um, if you have the certificate of analysis, uh, the COA, then you will know the contaminant levels and you will know um, whether it actually matches the labeled amount um, of EPA and DHA so you know whether you're getting you know your money's worth and you want to be looking you want to be getting um, a product that is made of all natural ingredients that are free from synthetic or GMO ingredients and you want a product that is made in a production plant that is a member of GOED which we talked about earlier which is a which is the global organization of EPA and DHA why does it matter because it it carries out randomized testing program to make sure that the members are complying with their you know guidelines and all of the members are required to adhere to the recommended levels otherwise they wouldn't be able to keep their membership so it's a trustworthy label okay so what about the potency is it really necessary to take supplements if I eat a lot of fish, do I still need to take supplements? Let's look at this um, study done um, in Australia. If you look at the, um, the last line, it says omega-3. And if you compare the, the central two columns, um, people who eat only fish and people who eat fish and they supplement, you see the, the figure, the unit here is double that of 
you know, those who eat only fish but do not take supplements. So, you know, supplementation does increase the omega-3 levels. Okay, now here comes a very important part of a fish oil product. Um, there are actually many um, good fish oil products on the market, but not all of them has a good formulation. So here we're talking about synergy. What does that mean? Synergy, you can basically see it as one plus one bigger than two. So when we put two things together, they will perform way better than either of them on their own. So here we see vitamin D. One study showed that combining fish oil and vitamin D significantly improved glucose metabolism insulin response, blood triglyceride, and cholesterol levels in um, pregnant ladies. So if you have, you know, metabolic issues or if you have some vascular issues, then this particular formula, if you are taking a product that has both of these ingredients, these nutrients, then um, they this product actually helps much better than if you were um, taking you know these um, supplement on their own and then there's another one on vitamin d um, this time on the inflammation marker and antioxidant capacity which means if you're taking them together it um, reduces inflammation in your body and it increases your antioxidizing capacity and the antioxidant levels such as glutathione in your body. We know that glutathione actually um, undoes a lot of the damage, um, um, oxidative stress in your DNA. So, um, which means if you take these two together, there might have there might be an anti-aging effect well we don't know for sure yet but then there um definitely more studies need to be done in this area but you know it's kind of safe to you know to say that because we know these products on their own actually do contribute to a more youthful look so um so this is the um this is one of the synergistic effects of taking Vit vitamin D and omega-3 fatty acid together. Okay, and then here comes the synergy between olive oil polyphenols and omega-3 fatty acids. This study shows that extra virgin olive oil actually protects your brain from pesticide. You might be thinking, well, I don't have any pesticide in my diet, but you might be wrong because um, there, there's, there's actually residual levels of pesticide in the vegetables and the fruits you eat. So you might be getting a lot of these um, pesticides. And even if you eat organic, there's no guarantee that there's no pesticide at all. So extra virgin olive oil and their polyphenols actually help you, um, you know, protect you from the harmful effects of these pesticides. Also, extra virgin olive oil can restore the DHA levels in your brain. So it's actually great. I mean, the, the synergistic effect between the two and it protects you and then it restores the DHA levels in your brain as well. Let's look at more studies. Okay, this one is also done on um, olive oil. So if you take omega-3 fatty acids with olive oil, polyphenol together, they can actually protect you against many cardiovascular diseases, um, including hypertension and coronary heart diseases. And it has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory um, effects as well. There's one more on olive oil and um, omega-3 fatty acid. This one found, find, found that um, the co-administration, so taking omega-3 and olive oil together could reverse or even prevent fatty liver disease. And then the authors of this research, you know, in the end, in the conclusion, actually went on to suggest that um, the co-administration of these two nutrients might prevent metabolic syndrome, diabetes, heart and autoimmune diseases, including rheumatoid arthritis and lupus. So there are, there is a wealth of benefits to be gained from taking olive oil and um, omega-3 fatty acids together, and as well as um, vitamin D and 
omega-3 fatty acids together. Okay, then finally we look at the packaging. What does that mean? Um, we know that fish oils um, are very susceptible to peroxidation or oxidation. They can turn bad very easily when it's you know exposed to heat, oxygen, or um, sunlight. So there has to be something to protect it. Um, usually it's vitamin E or an antioxidant like a rosemary extract to protect the fish oil from turning rancid or becoming harmful for your body. And um, this study found that olive oil compounds do exactly just that because they can protect against oxidative stress and reduce lipid peroxidation. What are uh, omega-3 fatty acids, they are lipid and they are prone to peroxidation and all the phenol phenolic compounds protect against that. Isn't that great? Okay, so now here comes balance oil. Plus, what's so different about it? Okay, um, first of all, I like um, Balance Oil Plus, uh, I'm taking it myself. I've been taking it for a few months now. I like that it takes a functional medicine approach, which is something I'm practicing myself. I'm a functional nutritionist. So what it means is instead of just, you know, treating the symptoms, we look at the root causes and we find out what the what the cause of a particular condition is and then we tackle that. So with Balance Oil, um, there's actually, uh, it, it's a test-based nutrition solution because there is a balance test that you can do to find out about the omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acid ratio in your, in your blood. And it's scientific, it's subjective because you can see the level. So instead of telling people, oh, I think I'm, I'm eating really healthy or I think I'm quite healthy, instead of that, you have facts you have data to support that claim or to dis you know to to disprove that claim if you've been telling people that you're actually very healthy but you know the figures show otherwise and it's a very easy to follow method because you can redo it in 120 days and then you will be able to see the progress to see whether the supplement you're taking is making you healthier or not. And um, the results are really effective because the test has been done by more than, uh, well, as of yesterday, more than um, 500,000 people in the world. And then I like that it allows you to use a personalized dosage. It makes a lot of sense because you know, in this day, we're all talking about, you know, personalized medicine, personalized treatment. If people are weight, if people weight differently, why would they all be taking two capsules a day? Why would they do the same? Because if you are heavier, if you're taller, then, then it makes sense that, you know, well, it, it's very likely that you have more blood you know, red blood cells in your body or you have more cells in your body, then you might need more DHA and EPA, right? So this allows for a personalized approach and it makes a lot of sense for me. And it's easy to use. It, it comes in a liquid form, so it's easy to swallow even by elderly and children um, because sometimes capsules could come in a really big size and it's difficult for, for elderly people so if you want to help them, you know, combat cognitive de decline, but they can't eat it, then, then it's a shame. And it has a, a great flavor because we learned earlier that it's gone through a deodorization uh, process. So it doesn't have that fishy taste. And I add it to my smoothies or juice or, or salads. And it's great. It's a great um, way to use it. It's really tasty as well. So um, let's look at the checklist of the selection criteria that we talked about. There's the certificate of analysis that talks about, you know, all the different contaminants or the amount. And then there's, uh, it has to be non-GMO. Um, it should contain a high level of EPA and DHA to be therapeutic. It should come from a protected water. Um, uh, marine area and it should be MSC certified Marine Stewardship Council it should be a member of Friend of the Sea member of GOED um, 
and it should be a it should come from a wild fish, a small pelagic fish. It should contain only natural ingredients, free of synthetic or GMO, and it should go through the winterization to concentrate the EPA and um, DHA content and to get rid of the uh, um, saturated fatty acids and deodorization to get rid of the fishy taste in a triglyceride form that we talked about earlier because it's better used by the body instead of EE, ethyl ester. And if it comes with vitamin D3 and olive oil, olive polyphenols, uh, then there is this. Uh, there are these synergistic effects w that we talked about earlier, and then it must come with an antioxidant to protect the f the oil from turning rancid, from turning bad. So in this case, there's vitamin E in uh, the balance oil plus. And then if it's test based, then it's a personalized approach, um, test based and um, functional approach, and then there's personalized dose. So we see that. Balance oil actually ticks all the boxes here, and which is which is one of the main reasons why I'm using it because I can really see that it's a very very good product, and um, I can feel that it's it's improving my health tremendously as well. So um, so I'm I'm really happy to see all the ticks you know on this chart because it fits all the selection criteria that I have. Um, here, and um, I think that's that's it. That's the end of my presentation. Um, all the information that I've that I put together for all of you. Um, so, okay. Um, Fantastic. Thank Shane, you, Master Jane. That was sensational. Any closing comments as we close out for our next session in about fifteen minutes' time? We'll be talking same presentation in Chinese, and then the following hour on the hour we'll be doing it in Cantonese. Master Shane, give me a couple of closing comments. Outstanding information for these great people on the call. Well, um, so I'm not here to sell, but um, I'm I'm here to present to you all the facts, scientific objective facts, so you can decide for yourself what is best for you and your family. And you see this chart here, and it's simply, um, it's hard to argue with the quality of such a product. So um, I'm presenting to you this chart, and I hope you will find good use of it. I mean, you can use it to, to, to determine whether some other products are as good for you. So, um, yeah, um, make good use of this, and then um, um, next week we will be talking about the balance test and what it can yes. do for you and how it can help you, you know, accelerate um, your goals to good health. So um, I think that's it for me. Exciting times, Master Shane. Again, thank you so much. Let's take a fifteen-minute uh, break, and we'll be back on the hour. And uh, we will present the same presentation in Mandarin, in Chinese. And we look very, very much forward to that, guys. So please jump online. Any of the people that you are talking to around the world in the Asian community, now's the time to share this link, share the link, and, uh, and or jump up to my Facebook and make sure they get on the, the Facebook Live page as well. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you all. And we'll see you in about 15 minutes. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys.